Hi guys, Mark Crossfield here. I'm in the ice box. It's freezing in the UK at the moment, hence the attire. Uh, we're hitting Callaway XR Fairway. Um, Hyperspeed face cups, XR range, stealthy looks. Let's check out the Callaway XR Fairway, see what it's all about. I've got a three wood in my hand. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Callaway XR Fairway, uh, hyperspeed cup face, so they're trying to, they've made the face thinner, they're trying to increase ball speeds across the face, increase the sweet spot area in effect. So they're gonna struggle to make ball speeds off the face go any faster, because they're limited, but if you miss the effective sweet spot, hopefully the drop back in distance with this design they're saying will be better, so you won't see such a drop back from more consistent distances. Um, they've moved the CG, I think, 20% lower, they're saying, with this one, um, and a little bit more forward with a standing weight or something in there, which maybe in dear brings around 200 revs of spin off, they're saying. We've got GC2 HMT down on the floor. We will test the numbers and present. Um, it's, this one's long in the shaft length, so they are, Still trying to increase the length of the club, which I worry for lots of people. The longer that club gets, sometimes striking it makes it harder, um, which is really, I think, where you would see most of your speed coming from if you can swing it faster with the longer lever, which not everyone can. Um, it's got this black kind of matte finish, little Callaway uh, raised V lineup line. Looks great. Um, with the score lines on the face framing the ball lovely. It's a re-designed head shape from the old X-Hot 2, they're saying. Flat leading edge higher in the toe, so good for people trying to hit it off the deck. And it does really kind of hug the floor in the right area. Um, I'm liking the look of this a lot. I do worry about the length. Obviously, custom fitting, guys, is always an option with every one of these manufacturers. So you could get the length changed if you just can't handle this length and you wanted this head. Um, let's hit it, see what it feels like. It feels lovely, it's not too loud, it's quite a nice sound. Uh, that's a very nice flight. That's a gameable, gameable club. I do like the redesigned head shape, as they call it. Um, it does really, lean edge hugs that ground, lovely. For I'm predominantly hitting my freewood from the deck, even if I am on tee ground, I'll often just knock a bit of turf up. I don't like it too much in the air. Oh yeah. Caught that slightly off the toe and that is still going. That is still out there. That is a lovely, lovely feeling free wood. It's a funny, I was expecting it to make a much bigger sound than that and it doesn't, it's quite a true sound. Um, I love the way it hugs the ground. I love the black stealthy looks. The length of it concerns me slightly. Test testing for higher ball speeds across the face, really you need a robot, otherwise you're not really testing anything to find the effective sweet spot with all the other delivery numbers in there. So. I, the fact that I can't test it makes me wonder how big an effect it's actually having. I think you'd see it over a season rather than over a round or even in a test, to be honest, because it will literally be marginal. But any help, it's got to be good, isn't it? I wonder if it is lower spinning. It doesn't particularly, the ball flight doesn't look particularly massively lower spinning. Well, let's check the numbers out. I'm going to hit one more. I'm enjoying hitting shots today. Um, let's uh, check the numbers out, see how it's performing. Um, we'll get the real tightest Pro V1 balls on, not these range balls to give you some real ball data. I'm going to hit one more. It does look great. It's a good looking club. Caught that slightly near the bottom and it's still fine and out there. Let's check these numbers out. I like the way that hugs the ground, guys. It's a good looking feeling club for people who are in their food from the deck. Let's look at these numbers. Right guys, numbers time, Callaway XR Fairway, so this is the three wood. Um, peaking height at 37 yards, which is decent. Spinning at 3.7, which is uh, getting one down at 2.9, and then around 3,000 to 4,000, so spinning kind of where I'd want a three wood to spin. Even though they advertise this one as a low spinning one, there's other ones out there I've hit, which you might have seen videos on, which are completely different spin models, but I quite like where that is. Um, going at 2.24, topping out at three for, uh, 2.30. 
that's about where my free wood sits. I wouldn't say that's particularly long. Uh, it's not particularly short. It's exactly where I'd want a free wood to sit. Maybe squeeze a little bit more out there, but I've got a 214 in there, which is um, obviously a slight miss hit. So that takes, if I take that one out, it takes me up to 227. Averaging 230 on the fly with a free wood is about where my game is at. Um, good numbers, nice looking club. I do like the look of it. Um, the feel of it is great. The numbers are good and honest. It's not souped up. Uh, in any way. I think it's doing what a free wood really for lots of people would expect a free wood to do, which would fit nicely between hybrids and drivers. Post comments down below as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you're going to try it or not. Definitely best way to get uh, to know if these clubs will help you or not is go out there and demo them yourself. There's loads of opportunities to get out there and try them. Go and do it. Post comments down below and let me know how you got on. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.